What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, I'm going to be talking about future updates that are coming up very shortly to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We've already received the first April update for April 2024, and it brought some camera improvements, uh, text clarity on Zoom, some other things, but also caused some issues for people. So we're hoping the next update is going to fix some of those things. I'll tell you guys about when that might be coming, what might fix it, and a couple other updates that Samsung is going to be rolling out very shortly. Before we get started, I do want to thank my three-year-old son, Jonathan. We've got some dinos hanging out in the video. We've got the green Spinosaurus, as well as the beautiful maroon Carnotaurus. We do always appreciate him for giving us some toys to hang out in the video with us. Also want to remind you guys, if you haven't yet, check out my Alpha Link page. It's always in the pinned comment description. It's got the newest video, also the newsletter where you can sign up to learn more about our mystery boxes. If you're new to the channel, we send out mystery boxes at every Samsung launch. If you buy a Samsung phone from samsung.com with our affiliate link, you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other accessories. We insert Amazon gift cards, Google Play credit. It's very fun. We love giving back to the community as well as my personal website. All that's below if you want to check out and sign up for the newsletter. Anyway, lots of updates coming up. The biggest and most important news from that is from our old friend Ice Universe over on Twitter. He's talking about the next update to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. He actually said at the end of March that there would be two April updates, and it looks like he is singing a little consistent with that, even though he's not fully sure of the time frame. He says the Galaxy S24 Ultra will improve many camera problems in the next camera firmware update, including telephoto image quality, inaccurate white balance, and abnormal red color, but they have not given an accurate timetable. I hope they can solve it in April. So it seems like, you know, someone below joking, saying, well, this is always the same story. It's always the next update, the next update. And he said, maybe April, maybe May, maybe June, the worst results, they cannot solve all the serious problems. And he's basically saying, well, some updates, you know, whenever are better than none. And Samsung is working hard to solve issues, and we do appreciate that. So essentially, we're going to see more telephoto improvements, maybe not with text, but maybe more with images in this case, hopefully some low light ones, particularly the 10 times zoom could use some huge improvements because it's still not as good as the S23 Ultra, uh, which had that true 10x zoom, in my opinion. Um, inaccurate white balance definitely in low light needs some improvement, but there's also some video shooting problems on the S24 Ultra that need improvements. So I'm hoping, I haven't seen anything about this yet, but I'm hoping they'll see some video improvements in that next firmware update for the camera as well. So that should be coming hopefully in April or May. We might see two firmware updates in April if that does happen. However, that's not all of the news because if we scroll down here, my bookmarks a little bit further, there's an update coming to both Lockstar and HomeUp um, on the horizon in two issues that really need to be fixed when it comes to Lockstar and HomeUp. The uh, Lockstar and HomeUp issues are one for Lockstar. They issued this update that allows always on display manual brightness on the S23 and the Fold 5 series. But now if you change your always on display clock, then it doesn't give you the one that's in the Lockstar preview. So when I placed the clock on the top status bar, it was a form that went well with the background from a certain point in time. It cannot be recovered because it cannot be moved to the location. So essentially the good lock support staff said, uh, the movement range of watch items to the team in charge for review. And it seems like they are now aware of this and they're going to issue an update. He talked about this in the previous post, uh, one for Sid, that the customization that you have inside the preview doesn't look the same as the actual always on display. Samsung said, once again, they're going to issue an update to this. So we can expect a Lockstar update. But the one thing that's really upsetting to me, and I talked about this over on Twitter, but I'm going to air my grievances again here since I have a forum to do so. Uh, with the S24 Ultra, we no longer have the same feature set as the S23 and the Fold 5 in Lockstar because they have the ability to change the always on display brightness manually inside Lockstar. We do not. That's very frustrating because a lot of people out there do not like to use the show wallpaper feature of the AOD. And so even though I understand Samsung has a burn in concern, they could give S24 Ultra users the option to turn on manual AOD brightness if they don't use the show wallpaper feature. I would really employ Samsung, if they're watching this video, to add that feature for S24 Ultra users to that upcoming Lockstar update, which fixes some of these bugs, consistency with the preview screen versus what is actually on the always-on display once it's set. I certainly hope they will consider that uh, in the upcoming Lockstar update giving that functionality to S24 Ultra users who do not want to use the show wallpaper screen. 
Now, the other update that's going to be coming is HomeUp. And I know a lot of you are probably out there thinking, well, HomeUp probably means we're going to get that vertical app drawer, right? We've been waiting for it for so long. And the answer is no, that's not what's coming. I mentioned earlier this year, Samsung has already said the vertical app drawer inside HomeUp will not be back until One UI 6.1.1. That means it's not happening until late July when the Fold 6 and the Flip 6 come. However, the HomeUp app will be updated to bring Finder access and that's in the final process of being verified and will be released soon. This is very exciting news. Um, the update that includes the uh, feature for Finder is gonna be very fun to use and have that built into HomeUp. And uh, this was talked about previously by one for sid as well. Swipe down to bring Finder access as well as app icon size adjustments will be added in this update as well. So no vertical home, no vertical home up app drawer, but that'll be coming back later this year. So we can wait for that. Anyway, three pretty interesting updates coming up on the horizon. Look forward to you guys know all the coverage of them once they actually come out. Lots of other cool stuff coming up on the channel. Samsung updates, tips and tricks, news, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you want to check it out. Check out the alpha link. Sign up for the newsletter so you get on those mystery boxes. If you're going to buy a Fold 6, Flip 6, S25 device next year, we'll have mystery boxes for all of them. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.